versatile, unselfish. His style is as basic and unadorned as the Nebraska plains on which he was born, and as rugged and unrelenting as a grain belt winter. Over the past eight seasons, the 49er pullback's willingness to do anything at all for the good of the team has made him one of the most valuable members of one of football's premier franchises. If they wanted to catch passes, that's what he'll do. And heck, he'll even score if he has to. In a win over the Giants last season, Rathman's number was called for an unlikely three touchdown receptions. Pass, pass, but he might get it again. He dives into the end zone. Podolak was literally the centerpiece of their offense. Good job, Podolak, right side. Podolak, off left tackle, following block. Pressing down, taking down, across the 30, the 35. Touchdown, Podolak. 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 Touch He isn't just lucky to be a four-time champion. He's lucky to be alive. Rocky Myers having a great second and third effort. In 1968, Rocky was actually drafted twice. In January, he was fortunate to join the Steelers as a role player right before their dynasty began. That December, he received a letter that changed his life. 1968 is the height of the war, and I get drafted after 11 games in the season. They needed bodies in Vietnam, and I was shipped over to Vietnam and, and spent four and a half months in country before um, I got wounded twice in the same day. running back for the Oakland Raiders. Three years out of Colgate University, Mark is already recognized as one of pro football's premier running backs. He led the AFC in rushing in 1970. They didn't want to have to tackle Zonka. 
because Zonka was on a roll in that game, and there was no way that they could stop us. And off Zonka, he's got it in end zone. And Zonka picks up another 13 yards. Now he hands off to Zonka, heading right side. Touchdown, Larry Zonka. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Dolphins, if they haven't already, have now established clear superiority in this game. And the Miami Dolphins are the champions of the pro football world. They have won the Super Bowl for the second time running. They could not stop the machine that we brought there. During 13 years of high school, college, and professional football, Red Grange carried the ball 4,013 times for an average of 8.1 yards and scored 531 touchdowns. His astonishing record still stands today. Grange was the greatest broken field runner of his time. Fielding Yost, the longtime head coach, University of Michigan, had a disparaging remark about Grange. He said, all Grange can do is run. To which Bob Zupke, the Illinois coach, responded, invoking the name of a famous opera singer of the day, all Gallicurci can do is sing. When people think of John Riggins' 1982 postseason run, this is what they think of. But Riggins play before Super Bowl 17 was just as impressive. His Washington legend is all based on the playoffs, really. That's when he really made big plays. Riggins, here comes the deep ball. Inside the 20, down to the 16 yard line. Riggins with the touchdown, John Riggins. Riggins went into Joe Gibbs' office and said, Give me the ball. He had 136 carries in four playoff games. He doesn't really get comfortable until he's run the ball 20 times. The dude averaged over 30 carries a game. Riggins rumbles for another first down.